There are times when you need to create supplemental drawings in order to issue a smaller sheet size rather than a full size sheet. You may call these sketches. Before you create any revision drawings, you need to have a revision. On the View ribbon, in the Sheet Composition panel, select Sheet Issues Revisions. In the Sheet Issues Revisions dialog, change the date to 1-1-2020 and the description to Addendum 1. Then click OK. To begin creating a supplemental drawing based on a plan view, first make the modification to the design and then cloud and tag the revision. The ductwork serving the stairs in the southeast corner of the building has already been modified, so now you need to cloud and tag the change. Move to the Annotate ribbon and start the Revision Cloud tool from the Detail panel. You can see in the Properties palette that the revision is set to the one you just created. Use the Rectangle tool to sketch a cloud around the ductwork and then select Finish Edit Mode. After the cloud is created, tag the cloud using the Tag by Category tool on the Annotate ribbon. Deselect Leader in the Options bar and click to place the tag. Press Escape twice to end the command. Next, you need to crop this area, but you should not do this in the original plan view. So create a copy by right clicking the view in the project browser and selecting Duplicate View, Duplicate as Dependent. Then right click the copy and select Rename. Name this view Addendum 1 Stair and click OK. In the drawing area, zoom out until you can see the entire crop region. Then select the crop region and use the controls to crop the region you clouded. At this point, you need a smaller title block to issue the revision. You can create a custom title block, starting with the title block from the Revit family library. Open the Application menu and select Open Family. Scroll down and open the Title Blocks folder. Select the A 8.5 by 11 vertical or A4 metric and click Open. When you issue a revision on a smaller sheet, you still need some of the same information that you would use on the regular sheets. However, you need to add the revision information as well. To start, change the date to reflect the revision date. But first, select the text field that says Date and add revision to the beginning. Next, select the label that displays the actual date and select Edit Label in the contextual ribbon. An Edit Label dialog displays. As you can see, the current label parameter is the project issue date. Select this parameter and select Remove Parameter from Label. Next, select Current Revision Date in the Category Parameters field and click Add Parameter to Label. Then click OK. You can now see on the title block that the date placeholder has been replaced with current revision date. A good practice is to input the actual format in the sample value field in order to make sure everything looks and fits properly. Now, select the sheet name label and choose edit label from the contextual ribbon. Repeat the same process to change the parameter to Current Revision Description. But this time, change the sample value to Description and click OK. At this point, you could add additional labels, text, or images to further customize this title block. This one is good for now, so you can load it into the project.
Take note that you should not simply save this title block right now. You should use Save As and select the location and file name. If you use Save, it would save over the original title block you started with. In this case, choose Load Into Project and come back later and save the family. Once it is loaded into the project, a warning appears, stating that this kind of element cannot be created in the current mode. That's fine because you are in a floor plan view. You can click anywhere to dismiss the warning. In the project browser, right click the Sheets branch and choose New Sheet from the shortcut menu. Then select the title block you just loaded in and click OK. Next, find the Addendum 1 view you created earlier and drag and drop it onto the sheet. Once you click to place it, you can move it around to get it to fit, or deselect the viewport and then select the viewport title to move it. Once the viewport is set, you can see the revision information in the title block. Select the sheet number and change it to SK-1. You now have a supplemental drawing for this revision.